Okay, so I got a couple requests in the comments section to do a Kyle Trask film breakdown. So this is what this is. This is just a bunch of uh, clips from games that I pulled, uh, stuff he does good and stuff he does bad. So I think that's what we're going to look at today. Um, let's get it going with the first play here. This is going to be a inside glance route to your tight end. Uh, so let's go. Let's start pre-snap what he's looking at here. Um, for me, this looks like man-to-man. -man. I think Trask, Trask sees that. He looks like cover one. You're going to have your free safety right here. He's just going to kind of play off your eyes. You got corner matched up here, here, here. You got Singletary on Pitts, which is, you would think, not the best matchup, but Pitts is an absolute monster. He's a dude. And you got your back manned up with the linebacker. So he knows that. He knows that he's going to get his back to move out. Pitts is going to be one-on-one -on, -one on that glance route. All Pitts has to, or all Trask has to do is move this safety a little bit with, with his eyes, and that's what he does. It's beautiful. So let's run it through here. See? Trask's got his eyes on this side of the field. He's moving this safety. He's creating this open area, this grass. That's all he's doing. He does a great job with it, hits the top of his drop, flips, just as Pitts is coming out of his break, delivers it, bang. That's an easy 20, 25 yards right there. Here, this next play, this is another play where uh, Trask uses his eyes and, you know, he gets help from his tight end, Pitts here, on a, on a great route, but he uses his eyes to uh, manipulate the defense. So we're looking pre-snap here. What they're trying to do is... They're trying to see if it's man by, by using this motion, this ghost motion. Um, and they're getting the linebacker running. So you see it. So now he's manned up tight. You got three over three here. One, two, three. So we're thinking it's man. But let's let's run the ghost motion out. Let's see if the backer chases just to make sure. And maybe we could move another backer out of the box if he chases to open up a bigger window here for Pitts. So it's a good play design. It's an awesome play design. It's 3rd and 14, which is something I don't love. But, hey, if you got Kyle Pitts down here to the boundary one-on-one, -on -one, you got to take it every time. So, takes a snap, looks it off, bang, comes right back. Pitts gets the first down. So, let's get this from the back angle so I can kind of show you guys what Trask is doing, the, the eye manipulation. So, he sends, he sends his back. He's going. Got this linebacker here. So now he has one of these linebackers just falling off, and he knows he's going to fall off, and he's going to be kind of playing right here, robbing that middle of the field. He might come here and play this, play the slant. He doesn't want him there. So what he does is he gets this snap. He's going to send him. He gets the snap. Now if you see that right there, his eyes were right here. He's moving this guy just enough, just out of that window, and he comes back, snaps that slant, bang, first down. Beautiful. Now, this is where I think Kyle Trask is at his best. I think when he knows that he's got man-to-man, -man, he knows what the coverage is, he knows he's going to have his matchup, he's at his best. He's a super accurate passer, throws the ball very well vertically. Like That's what I would say is his, his strong suit. When he has a clean pocket, he looks like one of the best college quarterbacks in the nation. So right here, I mean, this is SEC football right here, man-to-man, -man, right? We got exactly what we want. We got the free safety. He's going to play eyes. You got this corner who they picked on all day. They picked on number three all day. Pitts, Grimes, everybody they lined up against them. They liked that one-on-one -on -one matchup that they got. So Trask knows that, right? So he's going to play his boundary vertical. He's going to move him with his eyes and maybe a little bit. Maybe just maybe just going to check him. He's just going to make sure that he's not flying over the top. And if he doesn't fly over the top, then he knows he could play his boundary fade. And that's exactly what he does. He's looking right at the safety right here. He sees the safety, opens his hips opposite way. As soon as he sees that, stops, bang. Now he knows he's got his one-on-one. -on -one. Gets ready to throw. Lays it out there. Beautiful, beautiful ball. Can't beat that throw right there. It doesn't get better than that. So here it is. He's, he catches a snap. Eyes locked on that deep safety. Making sure he's not rolling over. Making sure he's not rolling over. Bang. Now he knows he's able to make this throw. 
puts it on the money. Touchdown Gators. This is a very similar play here. I'm going to let this run through, but very similar look. This is what this is what Trask does great. He throws a great deep ball. Okay, so Alabama SEC Championship game. You're getting that same look, that cover one look, right? Man over man, man over man, free safety deep. All we have to do is make sure that that free safety can't get in on the play. Because he knows he's got one of the most athletic freak receivers in the nation in the slot right now running that inside fade route. So he's like, I'm going to take my chance with him. As long as this guy can't make a play, as long as this guy can't make a play in the ball, I have what I want. Takes a snap. Looks right at, right at that safety. Safety starts moving to the middle of the field. As soon as he knows he has enough space, flips to his receiver, delivers a strike. Touchdown, Gators. Okay, so <laughs> this is one of the many, 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 many wheel routes that the Florida Gators hit against Kirby Dumb's defense. And I say that because he never changed, he never switched, and they played man-match almost the entire game and just let these running backs run wheel after wheel after wheel on them and didn't adjust. But let's get to the breakdown here. Let's let it run through. He's going to semi-roll, throw back, wheel, man-to-man -man with a linebacker getting through all that garbage. You're not going to be able to cover it. It's just not possible. But for Trask, this is pretty much drawn up. They know what they're getting. They know they're going to get that man coverage. They know they're going to get that semi-roll with a, with a pretty good pocket. But I put this in here because this is a great ball by Trask with a guy Coming in on him. He feels that pressure for sure. Now he's got to drive that all the way downfield. And this is not a this is not an easy throw because it's a deep, it's a deep throw. And he's able to drive it. He takes a big hit and he puts it right on the money. Now he knows he's getting man to man, so he I don't think he's too worried about it. I think he knows he predetermined pretty much. We got man to man. We're coming here on this wheel. We're gonna get a nice little rub from our guy. And it's gonna look, it's gonna be a nice clean picture. Right here, we got 15 coming in. He's going to create a little bit of a rub and give them exactly what they want. Bang. Good ball, though, from Trask after he takes a huge hit. Okay, so this is the stuff that concerns me a little bit with Trask, this type this type of play. I'm going to let it run through, and I'll show you why, why it concerns me. All right, so you're looking at it with a kind of a blind eye, like, oh, why did he throw this into double coverage? Well... So this is our passing concept. We're going to have a comeback here. We're going to have skinny post. We're going to have a dig. Now, Trask should be playing off this guy. This is pretty. This is what you call like a Mills concept, which means you're just going to have a dig and a post over it, and you're going to play off this defender. If this defender breaks down on the dig, you throw the post. If he goes back on the post, you throw the dig on time. That's all this is. And I think Trask kind of like predetermined in his head that he's taking a shot on this play. And I don't really know why he did it. Because here, if you look at it right here, he gets a snap. He takes his three. He hits the top of his three, right? Now, all right. Now, this safety is not driving down on the dig. Not at all. And he could still make a play on the post. So he's still got another six yards, five yards here of depth. And he's got he's in a good position to be able to open up and run. Right here, he should be stepping up and banging this dig. Throwing him flat, right, right out of the break. Right there. This is the throw. And I don't know why he's not there on it. And he kind of forces it into double coverage for no reason. It's a very easy read on this. You're on one, you're on one one defender. This is our guy. This is our guy all day. And he gives us a pretty, pretty easy read. He 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 backpedals, he opens, and he runs. That, that's the stuff I don't get. He's like predetermining sometimes where he's going. This is another kind of predetermined um, throw from him. And this is the stuff that's like, you know, when you're watching it, you're like, oh, what is he doing? So let's go pre-snap here. Um, you got a one high safety, so you got to expect some type of three maybe. Cover three, man to man. But I'm thinking three. I'm thinking cover three here. Um 
So what they're trying to do is they're trying to get this tight end to run a corner route, and they're trying to take hold. They're trying to take this corner and let him run out of there, and then they're going to sneak pits right underneath it on a post. Awesome concept. It's an awesome concept, and it it should work on paper theoretically. And this is where I think Trask sometimes gets in his head, and he's just like predetermining, like, okay, the corner route's going to clear the corner, and we're going to have pits coming right underneath it. It's going to be wide open. It's going to be a touchdown. On paper, yes, that's how it's supposed to be. But guess what? This guy's got a brain, and this guy gets to make plays too. So what he does is he sees that, and he breaks right down on this. Now I want to see Trask. Really read this out. He should be holding onto this ball, making sure that corner does carry the the corner out, and then you have Pitts here. And if he doesn't, then guess what? You have a naked corner out right here. It's a touchdown. And this is you can't make mistakes like this against an LSU national championship team. This is the this is their 2019 game. I mean, stuff like this is is so is so crucial. I mean, if he if he holds on to this and really reads this corner out, he's going to have a touchdown either way. He could put it to Pitts here, or like this corner breaks down on it. He's got the corner route. It's an easy touchdown. It's a it's a fair catch touchdown. This is just another play here where you really see how accurate Kyle Trask is, and and the spot throws that he makes are just awesome. They're just awesome. I mean, you're not going to get a a better throw on a Saturday or a Sunday. You're not going to get a better throw. So let's go pre-snap here. Let's go. Looks like man to man to me. Looks like man here. Looks like man. This looks like it's going to be like a, maybe a cover one robber because the safeties are off level here. See how they're not at the same depth. For me, that's kind of telling me one of these safeties is coming down. This guy's probably going to roll to the middle. He's either going to play here or he could come back to here. So again, this is Trask's job to make sure that he doesn't come back here. Um, but maybe they're going to make sure that it's man and they're going to motion Tony across and guess what? They get this guy running. All right, we're confirming this is man. So now once we confirm this is man, Trask's job is to make sure this guy cannot make a play on the ball. And that's exactly what he does. Trask is looking him dead in the face, dead in the face. He's opening up towards the trip side. Trask goes, okay, no problem. One-on-one. -on -one. I'm going to give my guy a chance, put it in the best spot possible. Grimes makes a great catch. Touchdown Gators. All right. So this play here, I have it on because I have two two plays back-to-back -back here. And I, I kind of want to show it because this these are the type of throws that I think knocks down Kyle Trask's grade as a quarterback. He can't make the – I don't want to say he can't make the off-balance throw, but he struggles when he's not – when he doesn't have a strong base or a strong platform. He struggles with it. So in this in this scenario, this is not an easy throw by any means, right? But you should be able to drive this all the way to the back of the end zone. You should be able to. But when he doesn't have a strong base, he 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 can't. He he just doesn't have the arm to do it. He relies too much on his heavy base and he needs it to make these these throws. I mean, this is the design, so I know maybe some people are looking like why didn't he throw it to the back here? It's a design sneak for, for Pitts. He's trying to block, and then he's going to sneak up. And this linebacker just does an awesome job. He, he sees it the whole way, and he plays it. But this is a design sneak, so I'm not worried about the progression here. They're trying to hit Pitts in the back of the end zone. What I am worried about is, you know, when you watch guys like Wilson and Fields and Lawrence, they could snap that ball on the run 45 yards in the air, no problem. And that you don't necessarily get with Trask. I think he needs the base. I think he needs a clean pocket to be super successful. Okay, so right here, um, I put this in because he, on this play, I think he's got a little bit of PTSD from the Georgia game when he led Kyle Pitts into the huge blow-up. So I put it on here because... Does Kyle Trask lack accuracy when he has to anticipate his throw? He didn't anticipate his throw when he was um, throwing this post against Georgia. 
So I think here he's trying to make sure that he anticipates the throw and he's a little inaccurate. He misses a wide open guy. So pre-snap here, what we're looking at, we're getting man coverage. We've got 13 chasing one. We got locked up here, locked up here. We got two high safeties, but they're they're level. So I'm expecting some type of two, two man. This guy's here. This guy's here taking away the deep throw. So I think Trask is in the right spot 100%. We got this guy manned up on Kyle Pitts, and that's the matchup that we want. So post-snap, he gets it. Safety start to open. They're running. They're bailing out. They're taking away over the top. Pitts wins on his route, and we're just a little inaccurate. I think we're on time. I think this is the right timing, and I think that maybe he understands that, or maybe Kyle Pitts told him, like, listen, man, I got PTSD from that hit. You better hit me out of the break this time and not be late. And it may have caused a little inaccuracy. I'm not 100% sure why he misses this. This is a wide-open throw. And it's easy. There's there's a clean pocket. So that stuff concerns me a little bit, the anticipation throws. So right here, I'll let this run through. This is an RPO. This is an RPO glance. This is what I would call. Um, so this is like single single back power. So we don't have a full back kicking out, kicking out our end. We have a tight end locked on him. And then we're just going to pull this guy through or around depending on where the hole is. And he's going to come block this first backer. But what Kyle Trask's job is, if we're looking pre-snap, right, all he is is his eyes are right on this defender. If this defender comes to make a run fit, we're just going to throw this glance right where he left. If he sits and he just buzzes and he's like, oh, I'm going to take away this glance throw, then we just hand it off and we run power because they don't have enough guys in the box to, to defend it. But now they do. So he comes down. Trask's eyes are on him, pops out of the mesh, delivers it on time, bang, good ball. Now he's going to be asked to do that at the next level, and I thought it was awesome. Here's some goal line stuff here from Trask. Um, I mean, I'm not going to be mad at this because he knows that he has Kyle Pitts. We all know he has Kyle Pitts. But I would have liked to see him come back to – Um. His next, his next read. I would like to see him come to the third receiver. So what we have here is we're going to have an out route. He's going to match it. We're going to have another stick out route. He's going to match it. Then we got Tony kind of digging across the back of the end zone with 15 right underneath it. And we got a trail route coming. So I love the concept. This is amazing. This is everything you want to see in goal line Football, red zone football. This is everything. I love this design by Dan Mullen. But right here, he's matching it. He's matching it. So his eye should come to this next window because there's nobody there. And if he leaves, then you hit 15. See how that kind of works? So Tony's driving to that open spot. And when he drives to that open spot, right here, float it right here, back here. That's an easy throw. It's an easy touchdown. Instead, he kind of puts it where Pitts makes a great play, but... He didn't have to make this throw. He could have threw it to Tony for an easy, you know, fair catch touchdown. So this is a very similar concept where I think he does come to it. He does come to that read that I'm talking about. And this is what I really love to see. This is like Sunday type stuff. Over the backers, beautiful throw. So let's go pre-snap here what we got. We're going to have Pitts come across in motion. He's going to move him out. It's going to be short here. Pitts is trying to get to that corner. And then we're going to have, um, I believe it's 10 on the dig. And then underneath. That's pretty much what it should look like. So let's, let's, let's run it snap here. He gets a snap. Okay, it's, they, they switch released. So we're going to have Pitts to the flat. It's a double team here. So I think he does a good job, right? He does a really good job seeing this is doubled. Like, he didn't get hung up on it, and that's what I like to see. Sometimes I see guys like Justin Fields, they get hung up here, and now they're looking to scramble, they're running around, they're popping out, they're doing all that. He doesn't do that. He sees the double team, he goes, okay, I know where my next window is. You, you, you left, the safety left, he just gave me an easy touchdown. As soon as he leaves, he sees it. 
Trask steps up. And what I like to see here is, I mean, this is this is pretty early in the game. Like, you could get be a little jittery. This is Saturday night, Death Valley, undefeated LSU. But drops it right over the linebackers' heads for an easy touchdown. Like, I, I love I loved all this here. I love this. I love his the way he went through his progression, the throw, being calm, all this. This is what Kyle Trask is.